You are exactly where you shouldn't be. Yeah, come on. Come on. Let's go. It is like 7.30, the sun is almost up this morning, and we are, we are getting ready for a very busy day. We have to take our cows, the, our final two cows, um, to the butcher today, um, so we are going to be hooking onto the trailer and loading up. So let's get these jars stored for now and get dressed and showered. Well, showered and dressed, ready for the day. Get those cows off to the butcher. So something that we found that helped us was Zach grabbed this piece of metal. Uh, it was just something he had kicking around in his truck. Um, and it's not to touch the cows with at all. It's just used as an extension of his hand so that the cow isn't uh, as easily able to get around him. Uh, it's just used as an extension of his arm. Um, it worked pretty well for us. Uh, one thing that was very different between uh, Lily and her twin Boomer was Boomer would not get on the trailer if I wasn't in it. He needed somebody to be there. He's a very social cow. Uh, and Lily was exactly the opposite. As soon as I got out of the trailer, she went right in. Um, and she was a lot calmer that way. Uh, we were surprised by that because Lily was also a very social cow. Um, but as soon as Zach had the idea, she went right in and it made life so much easier. Um, Whitey was kind of a timid cow and he just really liked to be with Lily. So as soon as she was in, he followed right behind her, no trouble at all. The first time we loaded the cows on, it took us 15 minutes. This time it was only six and a half minutes. We are on route right now to the butcher um, and we are going to drop off our last two cows. Um, See the trailer behind us? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about the video, it's rough road. <laughs> yes. And uh, Zach's got to focus really, really well because we're supposed we to be are... driving. <laughs> He's driving and we're in an area right now where there are a lot of deer. So He's gonna focus and I'm gonna talk. Um, we we have no barn chores. We are officially right now dropping off our last two farm animals. Um, we are going into a season of uh, 
renovations on our farm. I go back to work here shortly because I work seasonally. Uh, and before I get back to work, we're really hoping to finish off as much of the farmhouse as we can. Uh, we have been renovating nonstop for like three years on this place. So it'd be nice to get that wrapped up. Uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting to not have to come home every night at a certain time to make sure that the animals are fed and make sure everything's checked on in the morning and uh, going down to the creek to open up a, a hole in the ice every morning for the cows to drink. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be nice to not have to make that walk. But we're we're feeling very blessed and very fortunate for. Um, all of the opportunities that we've been given uh, on our farm. Uh, right from the chickens to the cows, it's all been very, very humbling experiences. Um, and we have officially harvested uh, enough meat to last us the next year, year and a half, uh, between all of our chickens, the venison uh, during this hunting season, and our beef that we're just gonna be picking up here in the next three weeks. What are you most looking forward to? Beef. Beef. <laughs> we are definitely meat eaters. <laughs> yes. We'll try and get you guys some footage of unloading. Yes. Yes. Uh, one of the hard parts of, one of the realities, I guess, of dealing with live animals is they definitely have a mind of their own. And we worked really hard to make sure that the animals that we have have a good life. Uh, that's very important to us. Like we don't, we don't keep them cooped up. They get to roam the fields. We try to make this process. Sometimes not in the fields. Sometimes not in the fields. Yes. Sometimes definitely not in the fields. Um, but we try to make this part as easy on us and on them as possible, mostly on them. Um, I love the fact that we can raise our own meat, but I get very, I get very anxious during this time. I try really hard to do my best to make sure that the animals are as relaxed and as calm as they can be so that this isn't stressful for them. Mind you, being loaded onto a trailer and then offloaded at the butcher shop, it's going to be stressful on them regardless. So we just do our best to try and figure out how to minimize that as much as possible. Um, sorry about the bumps. It's a very bumpy road. Come on. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have enjoyed our last few videos uh, all surrounding the farm and harvesting uh, and our animals. And I hope that you stick with us. We are gonna be jumping both feet neck deep into renovations and we are going to turn our house upside down uh, but we're going to give you a lot of tips and tricks along the way so uh, and hopefully record most of it yes we're going time. to record it this time so like and subscribe and we hope to see you in the next video